Hello everybody, this is Johnny Immerman with Immerman Angels. This is our Chicago abode, the lovely Chicago office. Blue walls, wood, <laughs> wood ceilings, brick walls. We are very anti-ceiling tiles, no corporate stuff in this place. You won't find anything corporate around here. It's very relaxed. Feel like somebody's house. All right. All right. Now there's a couple questions I want to answer that uh, the Almond Cancer Fund has asked us to answer, and I want to say we're honored and flattered to be honored uh, in Roman Angels by the Almond Cancer Fund. We love them, every one of them, such good people, and all the great work they're doing for the AYAs, the young adult fighters and survivors out there. Now the first question they wanted me to answer was when and why did I first come in contact with the UCF? And the answer to that is a guy by the name Joe Schneider, who's one of my best friends and locally here in Chicago, and is a Burkitt's non Hodgkin survivor, introduced me to Doug Allman and to Brock. And we did a conference call years ago, got to know everybody, said, look, we gotta work together, we gotta collaborate, instant friends. And uh, we're still all close friends today. So that's originally what brought us together. And we realized that our, the partnership was awesome between the two groups because Allman could refer people to Immerman Angels who are young and isolated and fighting cancer, and we could match them. In addition, there's people in the Baltimore area that should simply know that Allman's around the corner. They can get involved, and they can get involved in events with them as well. So it's a great partnership, great cross-referral system. We love Allman. Um, now, number two, what is something that has helped me through my personal cancer experience? Through my own personal cancer experience, um, Something that's helped me was, I would say, my family. You know, my family, my friends, my doctors. I had so much support during my cancer experience. I couldn't have done it without them. My mother was there every minute of every chemo. I was never alone. I was very, very lucky. Now for me and for all of us here as survivors, there's four out of the five of us are cancer survivors. None of us had the one missing puzzle piece, which is what Immerman Angels aims to solve, which is I never met anybody in the 20s who was a cancer survivor who could look me square in the face and say, look buddy, I've done this before. Been there, beat it, you're gonna beat it too. And that's what I would have loved, is a friendship with someone who said, I've already crossed the finish line. I've been through all this, let me help you out. So that, that would be an important piece that was missing, but the parts that were there were the family and the friends. I was very, very lucky in that way. The next question, what aspect of my cancer experience was unique to being a young adult? Um, you know, I'm a testicular cancer survivor, so losing a testicle, going on chemo, uh, the fertility risks, I would say, um, are pretty unique. Um, a lot of us have them. Um, so I guess that would make them not so unique. So maybe that's the wrong answer to the question. <laughs> um, but because a lot of us as young adult survivors do have fertility issues. So I would say unique to being a young adult fighting cancer. Um, but not in the young adult cancer world overall. A lot of us deal with fertility issues because a lot of us are in the teens or 20s and that's the age we're thinking about having kids. Um, so for me, knowing that 50% of people with testicular cancer who lose a testicle and take chemo can have kids and 50% cannot, um, that was something you know emotionally we all had to deal with. Um, now the next one. Can I tell a story about my favorite pair of jeans? Now this is a good question because I wear jeans every single day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally, those are your tips, Sunday yeah. jeans. <laughs> These are Sunday jeans. All right, so I wear jeans every single day. I wear a t-shirt every single day. Not the exact same one. Yes, People luckily think it's the for same us. One. Luckily for us, for the staff here, they would not want to smell me or be around me if I was wearing uh, the same t-shirt every day. But I wear the same type. And if anyone's wondering how many I have, because I get that question every day, about 75 is the actual answer. Not all black, but a lot of them are black. Um, and the jeans I do wear every single day. In fact, only about five days a year I don't wear jeans. Those are usually weddings. So out of respect, I'll put a suit on. But that's not really our style here, as you can see. <laughs> yes. So this is very laid back. Yeah. Um, now, the next question. We all know there are many horrible things attributed to cancer. What's one good outcome from, my, from the experience? Um, I can honestly say the best outcome of my experience are the people like Rennell who's holding this camera and all <laughs> the other survivors and friends that we work with and the 300 volunteers in Chicago that help us and the 2,000 survivors in our network. Um, that's to me is the greatest part. The friendships that I have, what we can do together as a team to change the cancer world, how we inspire guys that are sick, being a part of a mission in the cancer world, it's taught all of us how to give back and how to share 
and how to collaborate and how to work harder with only one mission in mind. And that is how do we make the cancer world better for the guys that are sick right now and are in treatment right now. So that to me is the greatest gift. It's given us all a passion and a fire in our bellies to change the cancer world. So over and out from Everman Angels, Renell, the best photographer in town <laughs> in Chicago. Thank you for filming. And I wish all the Almond Cancer Fund people a healthy, wonderful year and all the young adults all my best. Uh, we are lucky and flattered to be able to work with such an amazing organization. And I look forward to coming out there and being there at the end of this month. And again, we're so flattered to be honored. Uh, we have a lot of love and respect for all the Almond peeps. Take care and be well.